How do you feel like offenses performed in the first week here? Pretty typical camp, um, good and bad. With no pads on the first two days, honestly, it's tough. You know, I mean, it's really tough up front to sustain blocks when you don't have pads on. So, really eager to, to put pads on the last two days. And it's been, you know, we, we're competing. You know, we got guys that are that are that are competing, straining. Uh, got a long way to go, but um, but very pleased that right now at the full practice. What's your philosophy on depth chart at this time of year? Are you constantly moving guys around to yeah. figure out after week three? Day to day. If you have a good day, you know, you, you'll move up. If you like, and everything is, is judged. I mean, look, I mean, you know, efforts judged, you know, knowing what you need to know is judged. I mean, we got, we got competition across the board, which we're going to keep it that way. Um, and I, you know, I would anticipate a lot of guys playing skill here. You know, I would anticipate a lot of rotation and just a lot of guys playing. I mean, we don't have, we don't, we're not sitting here with a guy that's returning with 100 receptions. You know what I mean? So, hey, let's see who can play when they turn the lights on. So, like, how many receivers will you, you said you'll be running back by committee. How many receivers will you rotate into games, do you think? I mean, how many of them I feel comfortable playing? I mean, we've had, in any given time, we've, we've had 12 guys touch balls in games before, which that's everybody, tight ends, running back. So, I mean, 8 to 10. You know, I mean, you know, too deep across the board is typical. You know, you got to feel good about too deep. Um, but yeah, I mean, go play ball, man. What are you seeing from the wide receivers these first four practices? Are you getting enough downfield touches? The last two days, I say we would um, we we made a little emphasis to to stretch the field a little bit, and it, you know, those plays are those plays take time. You know, it's probably one of the harder things besides pass protection, which takes the most time. Especially, you know, against our defense, but 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 that connection down the field of um, you know quarterback receiver timing takes time. You know, we're not we're not where we need to be with that. The Tyler Harrell practice today. Yeah. Coach, you have, why, why wouldn't he? We saw him limp off yesterday. Oh, no. Did he practice fully? Yeah. Coach, you have a lot of different tight ends on this team with a lot of different you know skill sets. How are you looking to incorporate that in the offense this year? I mean, we've been doing it for the last, you know, eight to ten years. And so, I mean, uh, you're going to see them all over the place. I mean, the one thing we've done over the past four years with them is line them up everywhere. You know, they could be outside receiver, they could be inside, they could be an off alignment on, they're going to move around. So, I mean, you know, the best thing is, is if you got a guy that really threatens the defense, right, with his, with his ball skills and, and movement, body control, and all the rest, you can be a leader of that position. You know? So, you mentioned, oh, know, you mentioned know, a few minutes ago, um, you know, judging players on, you want to whip them? <laughs> <laughs> on knowing what they need to know. Uh, you said talk about like judging players, and, like kind of like on what, on knowing what they need to know. Mm -hmm. Do you think most of the players on the offense are at that point, or just still like you know a few more steps than that? Like, no, a lot more steps. Um, You're up, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we know about Tyler yeah. uh, I wonder about Jakari Brown and Henry Williams. First to Brown. Yeah. Um, how important is like finesse versus power? How is he doing? Uh, I don't know about those two terms, but I mean, you know, that's a really good question because those two guys have been extremely consistent for the four practices. I've been very pleased with both of those guys. I mean, just as far as picking up the pass game, knowing where to go with the ball on time. You know, those two guys have, have made huge strides since I've been here. Very proud of them. And their attitudes are off the chart. Can you talk a little about each one? Like Jakari, what did you see? He had some problems last year with throws and accuracy and stuff. What yeah, did you see now? I've seen a huge strides in pocket accuracy. Like sitting in the pocket, you know, un intermediate in the middle of the field throws. I mean, his comfort level with those right now have, have, have improved drastically. And then uh, with Emery, I mean, Emory's got a, a decent command of the offense in the sense of like he, he was asked to do a lot of these things in his previous life and so a lot of the communication stuff and everything comes extremely natural to him uh, but Emory's a top both of those kids are extremely talented kids and the best part about both of them is they they root for each other which is what I like to see. How is Mark Fletcher adjusted to first week of practice at this level? He's adjusted quite well. Uh, he's talented.
on the offensive line, um, you know, how many guys are you comfortable with uh, sort of putting in games at this point? Uh, obviously, you have a five that you started in the spring. Looks like they're if know, those five can play the whole season. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you better have eight to ten, right? You better, you know, you want two deep across the board. Uh, we got good able bodies. I mean, um, you know, I would if I had to sit down with Coach Maribel right now, I don't know what he would say about like if we had to play tomorrow. You know, we would have to sit down and have probably a swing guy here or there. But uh, but ultimately, I think we have the bodies that at the end of camp we would feel good about. You know, too deep or close to too deep. Can you see Jalen staying at left tackle as of now, or that's still to be determined? I mean, right now he's doing great. So a few more for Coach Dawson. How is Isaiah for He's doing good. He's doing good. He's just, he's up and down. He's got to do everything all day right. You know, I think that's the best way to put that. You know, he's shown some some flashes of, hey, this kid's extremely talented, but it ain't all about that either. You know, he's, he's got to do, he's got to, he's got to be a complete, a complete teammate, complete everything. And uh, he has the ability to do that because he's a good kid. Um, and, and his future's bright, you know, and he's talented. You know, he, he does flash at times. Consistency is, is what's going to win with him over time. What is he, Jacoby? Ma'am? George. Oh, I was about sorry. to say. Yeah. I don't know. I Who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, probably similar to what I just said. You know, yeah. flashes at times like the real deal, and then, you know, he'll go spurts without, you know, noticing. So just consistency, you know. Drops have been a last issue one. for wide receivers here in the last you know, year or two. Um, what do you think? Is it kind of like a normal number? Or, you know, is it yeah, it's high? normal. I mean, we, we're, you know, we need to be overall more consistent, but it isn't anything that's like skewed out of proportion right now. I mean, kids are straining, defense straining. You know, are we catching every ball? No. You know, are we catching our fair share? Yes. Do we need to catch more? Absolutely. Um, we need to do better with contested catches. You know, when things are tough, we got a few guys that are making contested catches unbelievable and um and then at times you know we get the ball batted out you know when the ball hits our hands and our defense does a good job of getting that third arm in there so i mean we just we got to keep working with that who are the guys that you've noticed that have been particularly good at those contested catches a couple of them <laughs> <laughs>